Hello. Uh, uh, Hi. Uh, hey there, everyone. How's it going? I'm a bit uncomfortable right now because one of my co-stars called the other daddy. I didn't call him daddy. I said I could have. It, it, it's the same damn thing. No, it isn't. When you insinuate all the times that you could have, it still is like, why? I'm saying I could have. Did I? No. Will I? No. Okay, maybe, but... <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, uh... Oh, come on, you can't be any more uncomfortable than he is. He's less so. We'll just put that into perspective. This is un unbelievably uncomfortable. All I can tell you is I'm flabbergasted. That's it. You are befuddled. See the bamboozle, one might say. So this is donuts. This is why everybody thinks that we are both gay. You say <laughs> out of pocket shit all the damn time. And do I regret it? Not even a little. And I have to sit there and go, he's just weird. Also, wait, 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 wait. you were the one hugging me all the fucking time and picking me up and shit. You are not innocent in this. Hugging is not sexual. Also, you were the one who grabbed my ass. I hug everybody. I, I grabbed a lot of people's asses. That is not something that is just to you. That doesn't make it better. I was gonna actually mention the fact that you started it because you grabbed his ass. Yeah, dude, like you grabbed my ass and you've licked me. Yeah, you called it marking. I don't remember where that is. M Marty, what? No, you called it marking. Yeah, you said you marked me. Also, you argued with my girlfriend over who owned what part of my ass. That I remember, and that was funny. Yes, so is most of the shit I've said. But a lot of the shit you said is really out there. It's not funny. Besides, besides, I don't own that other part of your ass anymore. That's to some dude in Louisiana now. Okay. I think it's a dude. <laughs> Let's hope it's a woman. If that's a woman, God. <laughs> Damn, that's a magnificent beard. <laughs> Welcome to the raunchiest fucking episode we will ever do, people. He yeah, sold, or at least one of the raunchiest. He sold that part of your ass to the biggest Louisiana he she. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. Could be a cartel. Nah, I don't deal with them. Well, speaking of which, I need to get more buggies because I ran out of them. Because they walked out on me. They walked out on him, man. They just went into a hole and said, this one's ours now. That's better. Yeah, you got one. And now I'm gonna go get that fucking sculpture that was in that patch of dirt at the Lake Hylia. Because I wanted to get that sooner, but I... But you ran out of bugs. That's because they all ignored, they all ignored me and dug into the patch of dirt at the bottom of the fucking well. You just somehow got them all in the hole at once. I applaud you, dream. It's so hard being a perfect hero. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, different conversation topic. Yeah. On to. The Star Wars Battle for Remaster comes out on Wednesday, and I'm fucking excited. Yeah, you yeah. Really, really this like is. That. Yeah. This is what I was hoping the newer Battlefronts were going to be. Like the old. Like the old. This is just a full, full remaster, and I am happy about that. They kind of went, well, you can't really capture that lightning in a bottle. We'll just release it again. Honestly, when the reboot originally came out, <laughs> or uh, the first one like back in 2015, I thought it was a remake of the original. That's what I thought, too. I was like, oh, crap, they remade it. And then I looked at it, played a little bit of it, and I was like, no, this, this, is, just, this is just bad. This is vastly different than I remember. This is bad, and this is just battle. If I remember correctly, that was also when the card system started. Yeah, it's also when the fuck. Oh, Why are you here? Sora! What up, friend? Head south from here to reach Lake Hylia's full, rich waters. Did you insist? 
Are you opening a cold one there, Link? Yes. Hmm. Let's crack and open a cold one. If you go west, you'll find Gerudo Valley. There's a hideout of a gang of thieves on the other side of the valley. Well, you're free to go anywhere you want. Woo -hoo. Woo! Did you get all that? Yes, I did. No matter how hard it is, just don't get discouraged. See ya! I will not get discouraged, Mr. Owl, because if I do, if I question my own thoughts, or, or I question my conviction, it's over for me. I end up being a loser. I end up turning into Topo from... <laughs> from Dragon Ball Super, who immediately stops... Like, we stopped preaching about justice as soon as he became a god of destruction. Don't worry, I'll be sure to come by and encourage you whenever you need it. Take a look at T O P P O. Thank you. Got a big walrus to the sound. He looks exactly. I immediately found the walrus here up in the seal. You say bitch and mustache like that, ah. and I don't really think of a walrus. I think of the Monopoly guy. Who doesn't think of the Monopoly guy when you think of a bitch and mustache like that? I immediately, for some reason, thought of that guy. Oh. He's got a nice goatee, but that's bad. Yeah. Why does he have a goatee? He's a walrus. He's, a, he's not a walrus or a seal. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a seal with a beard. Okay. Didn't they go in there? Gonna drop you in here. And take you out. You're mine. Collected 19 tokens out of how many again? A hundred, yes. Ah. Twenty gives me the Rumble Pack, or the Stone of Agony, as the game calls it. And thirty gets me the Giant's Wallet, so I can hold five hundred, uh, like five hundred rupees. Which I'll be needing. And I'll be getting that. <laughs> and before I sell the Bunny Hood to the guy in the field. Because when she sells it to him, he fills up your wallet to the... He fills up your wallet to the max. Oh, I see. Like, as soon as he buys it, he fills your wallet up, dude. I'm not joking. Nice. Good. Yeah, so I get the feeling that's going to be very tedious. To collect all of them? Yes. Well, yeah, it's a collectible. It's always tedious. True. There has never been a time when getting a collectible has not been out of your way. Exactly, folks. True. Exactly, folks, on this channel, we go for 100%. Despite the tediousness or whatever, we go for it. Why are you here? Wait up, buddy. God damn it. Head south from here to reach Lake Highland. Oh, shut go up. Go there. To go to Gerudo Village. Shut Bill. up. Did you catch all that? See you around. Don't get discouraged. Yes, I got everything. Leave me alone. Don't get caught by those things chasing you, ah. Billy. Oh no, I got it. The next time he pops up, I feel a little earlier with how it sounds. Just normally. And our audience. No, what happened? Let them guess. They will guess. As for right now, we will make our way to Death Mountain. The scenic location spot. Where? We went to. We're at Death Mountain Twilight Princess, and now we're going to Death Mountain here. Yep. And eventually we'll get to the most tedious thing to do in Twilight Princess. The Po-Souls. The po -soul? The Po-Souls. The Souls. What are the Souls? Oh, the poor souls. No, po. po oh, the ghosts. Yeah, the so ghosts. Fighting ghosts. It's tedious, because it starts you out with like, hey, collect 20 of these. When you do, it's like, hey, go collect me another 40. And then you have to go, I think you have to go collect another 40 as well, but I could be wrong. 60. No, because I think there's only 100. I don't 
Okay. Maybe 50. Okay, first things first. 20, 40, 60, 40. Maybe 100, but it could be more. Could be more. First things first, I gotta sell this mask to that kid. Cool. The kid in the graveyard who's a giant kiss ass. What's up, mustache man? Didn't we just see him back there? Why is he running like he can? No, he's in the graveyard. No, not the kid. Didn't we just see that mustache man running back there as well? Yes. Maybe we did, maybe we did. He's got an extended family. Oh, a bunch of them. Yeah, it's Dumpy the Gravekeeper! Huh? Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dan Pei. Will you give that mask to me? Sure. With this mask, I'll be just like Dan Pei. Here's my money. Why does the kid have 30 rupees? In allowance. Mm. And probably saved it up for something. Like a mask. Because kids tend to do that whenever they really want something. They'll save their allowance. Mm. Which I did pretty often whenever I wanted to get a game for the Wii. And I... Well, no, I never had that one. Because your mother was no fun. I didn't have an allowance Or like either. I didn't do any chores. <laughs> yeah, I didn't she have didn't an either. allowance either. I just did jobs. You were the kid from Home Alone 3, Gray. You are the one that... Who, <laughs> went around the neighborhood... <laughs> <laughs> with yard tools and saying, <laughs> should I mow your lawn or shovel the snow? No, not those kind of jobs. I mean, like, I did jobs for the family. Oh, uh, okay. I did those jobs sometimes. More as an adult than a kid. And the jobs I did were kind of like, hey, I'm going to go to the people that are a part of our family that have a ranch and do shit there. Mine was more of, I would go and I would stack my grandfather's wood and then I would clean out his chimney. Uh, 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 like yeah, that makes sense. Pretty good. Yep. We'll leave on this, thank you. And now that I got this. I'll be going faster. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah! Full speed ahead! I love this thing. No one will ever catch you now. Not now that you shift into maximum overdrive! Yeah! Funny thing, I've still never Spongebob. You don't need to watch Spongebob to know it. No. I know the memes, or at least I know some of the memes. I'm going fast. I'm saving the world. I'm Turbo Man! I was about to call you Sonic. It's Turbo Time! You run fast, eat ass, and destroy chili dogs. I was comparing myself to the movie Jingle All the Way, but sure. Never saw it. Oh, it's a Christmas classic. Just like Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll always be funny. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. He is, though. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Of course it is. I don't give a shit. It's funny. Is it a good movie? Yes. Is it a Christmas movie? Yes. No. Yes. Do you like being wrong? No. Because I'm not wrong. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. They die hard with a vengeance, bitch. You, you lose. <laughs> the pain of this conversation is real. <laughs> yes, as in it's giving me a headache every time we have it. Well, stop having it, then. Well, it, if you would stop bringing it up. No, because it's a good movie. Yes, it is a good movie. I have the Korans. <laughs> Are they still trying to attack you? Ah! No, they're not. Oh, okay. In fact, they didn't attack you in this, unlike a Twilight Princess. Yeah, no, they're just chill. Yes, they are. They're just doing their sad. thing. That makes me sad. Why? Why do they get to attack me? 
because they hate Twilight Princess Link. Something happened down my family line, I'll tell you that much. Look, man. Uh huh. I don't know what you did, but you pissed something off. Why the hell would it be my fault? Why wouldn't it be your fault? So here's the thing that I understand about Goron they eat rocks, right? Yeah. And from what I understand, they can't get through one of the barriers here because a rock is blocking it. Yeah. Why don't they just eat the rock blocking them? Because they won't. Look, putting it something like this, the Korans themselves like tasty rocks. They're not going to eat just any rock. If the rock is in the way and it's edible to them, even if it's not tasty, eat the rock so you can get to the thing you want that's, that's going to save you. That's not going to work. Hi, Daronia. Sounds like they don't have a backbone to me. It sounds like they don't want to eat shit. Do you want to eat a giant <laughs> pile of shit? If eating shit okay. was going to save my people, probably. Okay, now, Mountain Man, I want you to give Darunia here the voice of a wrestler. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you were just a little kid. Yes, I am. What of it? As Darunia, <laughs> the big boss of the Goron. He lost so much status to be treated like he's like this by his sworn brother, the king. Yeah, that's sad. Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Yes, I am. Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. Ooh. <laughs> We don't need any help from strangers like you. Thank you, Mr. Satan. Well, fine. I'll get your, I'll get your attention one way. Wait. Oh, yeah! That's my jam! This immediately makes him happy. <laughs> As it should, it is the best song. <laughs> Ooh! Woohoo! <laughs> come on! Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Woo! Yeah! Yahoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Daruno. Darunia. Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Goron. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? Actually, yeah. What? You want... The spiritual stone of fire, too? Yes. The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not just gonna give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monster inside the Dungo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will, bulb. everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want 
even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not gonna give. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything. But take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up bomb flowers and use ale. All right. That's the good stuff. That was killer on my voice the entire time. I'm sure it was. But thank you, man. That was amazing. And it was killer on his eardrums. <laughs> my ears. Because he is, like, right here. Why am I spinning? <laughs> you spin me right round, baby. Right round, right round. Like a record, baby. Right round, right round, round. round. <laughs> uh, man, there, that was killer on my voice. Goddamn. There's a heart piece in that pot. Let's see if I can get it. Missed. A little low. A little farther. Yeah. Hm. No, you won't. Oh, fuck, thank God. Frank, you only talked to him before and after the job. Oh, good. So you're fine. <laughs> I much prefer the owl. It's a much smoother voice. <laughs> I'm sure it is. That man's just scratching himself looking at you. Yes, he is. And that one's sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, you should have to sumo wrestle on you. No, I don't have to wrestle them. However, after you do the job, they will try and bear hug me. Come here, little buddy. I'm gonna give you a nice big hug. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Satan. <laughs> you can get your drink. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, I want to be here for all the dumb shittery. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now, playing this back in the day, I found something that pissed off my lady because she didn't know it was there. Okay. She knew it was there, but she didn't know how to get it. I figured out a stupid way of getting it. Is that a heart piece that's just out in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Yeah, I did that, and then caught it. Backflip. And she got mad at me. She's like, what? It was that easy? I'm like, it's not my fault you didn't know. <laughs> How to go and blow up the rock. You gotta make a rock go boom? Yes. Because I have to. In front of the entrance. I threw it on top of the. God. Missed a bit.
20. Now, nice. Now, folks. One fifth of the way there. Ten. Two tenths. You've seen how Death Mountain looks in Twilight Princess. Now, you're going to see how it looks in this game. I would assume not at all similar. No. At least the lava looks cool. However, we're in the Death Mountain and there's fire everywhere, so I gotta use these. He said the dog go out, the dog goes. The dog go. No, the dongos are a special species. Didn't work. They blow up. Yeah, I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to get them to blow up that. D like. The door. Yes. I see. Because there's a gold sculpture in there, and I want mm. every temple. I believe has about like th three or four gold sculptures you can get off the bat. <laughs> I didn't know out. I didn't know that could happen. I can ignore these guys. Here are the like, stall folks. Oh, I fuck these guys. You fight them in the water too. That's the fight of lizard. they make funny.
killed your friend. Where are you going? Dongo. Oh, the others were babies. Yes. That's somehow unnerving a little bit. It's even more unnerving to me that the things that blow fire explode. I think that's why you should see King Dodongo. waiting for that. <laughs> A lovely map. some stuff like those they, like those rotating eye things in Twilight Princess as well. Except for their statues and they just rotate. Uh-huh. There's a lot of Zelda games that you have to fight those guys. In here, the compass. That's helpful. Oh wait, Chet. <clears throat> It'll cause a chain reaction, you fool. It's supposed to happen, yeah. Destroyed us all! Destroy us all! There it is. Tell me, do you have ten gems? Um. After all, you have to mess with the clown's equilibrium. Time we go to the store, remind me to get ten jellos. Okay. That's a golden one right up there. Indeed, frost indeed. Trust in Yet I technically work for a clown. I have worked for two clowns in my life now. Yeah. And only one of them you respect. Kind of hard to respect the face of the The soulless corporation. That serves really shit. Easy. Yeah, if I remember you said he goes across the street and stares from the window. No. Oh. 
No, no, I'm talking about McDonald's. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, Ronald's fucking... Ronald treated me well, but I'm not a fan of his food. Yeah, Ronald's a little... a little suspect sometimes. Yeah. They do. Whatever happened to the Hamburglar man? We all know what happened to Grimace. He got turned into a shake. Do you want that shake? You know, I, with how, as much as I've seen about it, I kind of want to try it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Probably a little bit. Do it again. Remind me again which one of the four of us, or which one of the three of us, rather, is a masochist? You. Because you <laughs> like it in a sexual way. Yeah, at times. Too far. I like the fighting and the scratching, and that's a huge fan of the two other things. He's more of a fan of the other things. Hmm. Our glorious emperor. Too far. Shit. Come on. It's just a rupee. Just a rupee? Bitch, that is money. Yeah, I am. Money you can use to buy bombs. Two, three, four, five. Why would I buy bombs? One, two, three. Because Hyrule Second five, Amendment doesn't six, cover seven, guns, nine. it only covers swords and bombs. Damn it. Too <laughs> soon. Throw it at eight. Now. There it is. Pillar of fire. Again, why would I pay for bombs? Yeah, why would you pay for something that you can readily take? Ah, it's stall folks again. Not. Why do you know that? I've watched the a little internet. bit of fate. The internet has ruined this. Ruined what? Huh? Everything? Yes, I agree. However, I still enjoy oh, the internet. Oh God. There we go. Who are curious, please send him some porn. Please don't. Yeah, put some recommendations in the comments. No! <laughs> this will just deteriorate. <laughs> you want to get his band! I mean, it doesn't have to be porn. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And just be fanfic. I'm kidding. That's perfectly legal. I'm kidding, I'm not asking for porn. <laughs> well, I did, but I was, I was kidding. I'm going to smack you, bro. I was joking! No, but I'm still gonna smack you. I'm gonna drop a bomb in his eye socket. I have to. It's kinda rude, don't you think? Hey, I have to nice open it. Wake up. Rub some acid in his eye! 
As far as I know, I don't think this thing is an overlord. It's not a lion. This is an overly complicated door mechanism. Aren't they always? He took no damage from that ball. Yeah, it's called a roll. I roll. He took and rolled. Roll before you landed. They mentioned this early on in the game. <laughs> roll when you land to avoid damage. I just haven't seen you do it besides that one time right now. This is a long episode, but I want to get this whole thing, this whole dungeon done quickly. Ah, the Zelda stuff is usually the longest. Take that. <laughs> yeah, the Zelda episodes are usually the longest ones anyway. So. Yeah, but they're also the ones with some of the most content. Or at least the most diverse content. Just, just they are. And including Darksiders. Because Darksiders is basically Zelda. Ha! <laughs> Uh, it is spreading. Thankfully, my Tony Hawk stuff has not become that, but that's, but that will change in the future. Tony Hawk becomes Zelda. No, diverse. No, just no. I mean, like, like long episodes. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see Tony Hawk Zelda. <laughs> Okay, Link on a board. It has the Hylian insignia. We already I, know he likes to surf. I save Hyrule by... <laughs> I save Hyrule by grinding. I save Hyrule by shredding it? Okay. You save Hyrule by doing as many tricks as you can. Link! Link, Get you it. need to save Hyrule. The way to do that is by shredding it. On that... Guardrail. Now, I'd like you both to meet King Dodongo. Who dares disturb my slumber? Hey, look! It's your mother, Mountain Man! with a stick. Two strikes with a stick stick. Ah, yes. The ultimate weapon. The stick. Now, how this thing dies is pretty gruesome, actually. Hey, King Dodongo. Give a thumbs up, man. Yeah, it's pretty gruesome. It quenches the flames. And it dries up, and too. Corpse. All right. Okay. You want a drink? No, I'm good. Okay. Just don't want you to ever hurt your voice anymore. Yet. Where am I? Oh. Ah! Derudia? Where'd you come from? It's me, Derudia. Well done! Oh. Thanks to you, we once again eat the delicious rocks from Dodongo's cavern. 
until our stomachs burst. You look bad enough already. Ow. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. Fantastic. I can't believe that the Dodongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And this big rock blocked the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. Ganondorf who now? He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Uh, Kid, I like you. Huh? How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Excuse me? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. All right. Ah. Uh. The spirit bomb! Oh. <laughs> you have now learned the Kaioken. <laughs> Two down, one to go. You obtained the gro- you obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of a, a, a fire passed down by the Gorons. You have no idea what it means by Sworn Brothers, but you have collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody! Let's see off our brother! Yay, brother! Come here, brother! You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> Run! Damn it! Unless they hug you! Jesus Christ! What do you want, folks? With that, we will catch you guys next time. <laughs> and speaking of my mountain man friend here, I mentioned the can use the spirit bomb. I will say, Akira Toriyama. Rest <laughs> in peace, you magnificent, magnificent man. Yes, may you rest in peace. You are now with the Kai's, and I salute you, sir. You have brightened a lot of our childhoods, and we thank you so much. You will always be remembered. We catch you folks later, and a salute to you, all from the 13th Empire.